I've had a few viewers reach out to me recently and they've been asking what is the difference between a series circuit and a parallel circuit. And there's quite a few differences, a couple similarities which I'll go over. And one thing that I want you to remember is in your home, you're always going to use parallel circuits without even knowing it. When you watch my videos and see how to wire your home or different circuits in your home, you're dealing with alternating current and it's always wired in parallel. So just to begin, a circuit is nothing more than a closed loop. And so you'll have your power source and then you'll have a wire that makes it all the way around back to the power source, we'll say. And then you'll have some sort of device here, whether it's an outlet or whether it's a switch or something. There'll be some sort of load that's going to be, requ that's going to be requiring power on the circuit. So within the circuit, throughout the wire, all you have is a flow of electrons. So electrons are making it from one end of the circuit back to the other end of the circuit. And these electrons, this current, is what's powering your devices. So I think there's a misconception with people thinking that outlets in your home are actually wired in series. And that's not true. What's actually going on is when you think about something in series, you think about one thing and then another thing and then another thing. And so if these were outlets in your house, right, they're all in series, say these are all outlets. And so it's easy to think you have your power source. It's easy to think that these outlets are wired in series, but these outlets suddenly aren't wired in series. Yes, they're wired one outlet after another outlet after another outlet within the circuit, but this isn't a true, in your home, it's not a true series circuit. What I think is an absolutely excellent example of a series circuit is your old Christmas lights. Remember how your grandpa or somebody would say, oh, if one bulb goes out, they all go out. Well, you notice they fixed that problem recently. And so now when one bulb goes out and your LED lights and, and different strands of lights now, they all don't go out. But back in the good old days, when Christmas trees used to catch on fire because the bulbs got too hot, what was actually going on is the filament was actually part of that circuit. So if one of the filaments and one of the bulbs burned out, it broke the circuit throughout the entire line. So let's say it's 1965 and you have your outlet. And here's all your Christmas bulbs. So the wire is connected to all of the bulbs. But within each one of these bulbs, there's a little filament. And so the current is literally going through this filament in each single bulb. So now you have your Christmas lights up on your house and you're really proud of your Christmas lights. And all of a sudden, one of the filaments goes out and you just broke your circuit. And so this is a true series circuit to where your device to where one device is actually depending on the power of another device. Your current is flowing through each individual device, one after the other after the other. And I'm gonna show you why that doesn't work in an outlet situation in your home. So for those of you that are familiar with the channel, you know I can't write uh, white wires on a whiteboard, so I'll use blue. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circuit that is exactly like the circuit that you have in your home. And so both of these markers would represent Romex. I guess if you really wanted to get technical, this would represent Romex. You have your ground, you have your hot, and you have your neutral. I'm not gonna use green, I'm not gonna draw any grounding wires. I don't really need them for this situation. Okay, so we have our panel box. And if you're unfamiliar with the panel box, maybe go back and watch the Electrical Basics video. But in your panel box, you're going to have the black wire that leaves and it's going to make it to your first outlet. So there's going to be gold screws on this side. There's going to be silver screws on this side. So what you're going to do is you're going to hook up this black wire, this hot wire, this black wire up to a gold screw. And then you're going to have your neutral wire that's connected to a silver screw. It's going to make it back to the bus bar in the panel box. 
Okay, so let's add two more outlets to our circuit. And let's disconnect this wire and let's use what's called a pigtail. So a pigtail is just a little wire that comes off from one of the screws. You strip it back and then you connect another wire to it and you, and you put a wire nut here to connect the two wires. Now the reason you do that is because your Romex is gonna continue on to the next box and it's going to hook up to another screw. So same thing here. We're just gonna run our little pigtail. And if you see, see some other videos, you'll see what I'm talking about with the pigtail. So now this wire is gonna run to the next box and we're gonna wire nut this wire here, but then also the wire that goes to the final outlet. So my blue markers are kind of giving me trouble, but we're gonna do exactly the same thing with our neutral wires. So we're gonna have a pigtail, a pigtail, a pigtail, a wire comes over and connects these wires up. So this circuit of outlets is exactly what your wiring should look like in your home. So if you had a circuit with three outlets on it, this is exactly what it should look like. You have your hot, you have your Rolex and your hot wire coming to the first box and the next box and the next box, and then inside, this is how it's gonna be hooked up. So your hot wire is gonna come over, get wired out of the pigtail, it's gonna power this first outlet, and then it's gonna continue going on, power the second outlet, continue going on, power the third outlet. So let's think about what this means. Let's say that this outlet decides to stop working. It's not going to take out every other outlet. It's not like the olden day Christmas bulbs to where one of the devices, one of the bulbs or one of the devices, one of the units goes out and they all go out. It's not all part of the circuit. So what that means is we have completed a circuit here, we have completed a circuit here, and we have a completed a circuit here. And so what you need to think about is in a parallel circuit, you have different circuits within other circuits. So you go to plug in your vacuum cleaner here and it doesn't work, but then you take the plug out and you go plug it into this outlet, now all of a sudden your vacuum works. And the reason is, is because somehow the wiring isn't working correctly in here, whether some contacts or something got messed up in the outlet and it's not making, it, making a, the circuit complete. But now you go and you plug in to this outlet, well now you still have a complete circuit here. So series and parallel circuits are the same as that they need a closed loop and that electrons are just flowing around the circuit, flowing around the wires. The difference is, is how they flow around the wire. And so in a series circuit, of course, every device is getting the same amount of flow. So if you have a bunch of Christmas lights here, your flow of electrons is the same throughout. But if you think about a parallel circuit, your flow, your flow of current is going to be different at each outlet depending on what you have plugged into the outlet. And this is what's very important. When you have an AC system, say go, go look at your toaster, go look at a mixer, or go look at um, a space heater, something like that. It'll say it's rated for 110 volts and it'll say maybe like 1200 watts or something like that. And that's really important. The reason is, is because between your hot wire, so between your breaker and your bus bar, maybe go back and look at some other videos if I'm getting a little bit confusing here, but between your breaker and your bus bar, it's 120 volts. What that means is that the difference between here and here is 120 volts. The difference between here and here is 120 volts. The difference between here and here is 120 volts. So each single outlet can provide 120 volts. So when they design appliances and space heaters and things like that, power drills, what they're doing is they're designing them all to run off from a 120 volt system. And so you have your 120 volts across each outlet, but what happens is, let's say you plug in a toaster here and 
let's say it's going to draw, I don't know, six amps. And then you're going to plug in a vacuum, and let's say it's going to draw 10 amps. And then you plug in an alarm clock, and it's going to draw, say, 2 amps. Okay? The flow across the circuit, around the circuit, is not the same. The voltage is the same across each outlet but the amount of amperage that each device pulls is different. In a series circuit, so like with all of your light bulbs, the current is the same. What changes is your voltage. And so they're kind of reversed based on a series and a parallel circuit. And so across each one of these lights, there's gonna be a little voltage drop. And so now you have a string of 50 lights. Your voltage here and your voltage here is gonna be quite a bit different. The current's gonna be the same, the amount of electrons flowing is gonna be the same, but the amount of voltage, the amount of push going through is going to be different. And parallel circuits absolutely work the same way. And so you have your black wire coming to a switch. The only thing your switch does is break the circuit. It's on the hot wire. When you flip the switch off, it breaks the circuit, so none of the lights turn on. When you flip the switch on, it completes the circuit, and all your lights come on. So let's go from our switch. Let's bring the wire down. Let's say we have our pigtail from this light, pigtail from this light, and pigtail from this light. And then we have our neutral, our neutral, and our neutral pigtails. Then we have our bus bar here in our panel box, and this represents our Romex, so it's gonna pass the switch. So neutral wire is going to come over, get wire nutted together with the pigtail, and loop around to the next light, wire nutted, make it to the next light. The black wire is going to come over, get wire nutted to the pigtail, and carry on to the next light, wire nutted together, and carry on to the final light. So as you can see, this is still a parallel circuit. You have the power going through this light, so it's actually making it over to the neutral. You have the power going on to power the next two lights. And then the power is making it back to the neutral. Same thing here, the power is making it back to the neutral. And inside here, of course, there's the bulb that the current is traveling through. So now, all of a sudden, you get a burnout light bulb, and it doesn't matter. This one goes out, but you've still completed the circuit here, and you've still completed the circuit here. So I hope this video helps you to understand a little bit more about series and parallel circuits. And if you look at some of my other videos and you kind of see how the pigtails are wired together and, and things work, you'll be able to apply these principles to those circuits and see how the current is actually flowing and how this actually works. And hopefully this will all, hopefully this video in conjunction with some of the other videos will kind of bring everything together. Quick update on the garage. It's pretty much done. I have a little bit of trim to do. I have the casing around the doors to do. But all the outlets and switches, lights are in. And with this garage door, I'm actually gonna leave this unfinished to this point. I haven't exactly decided what, I was gonna, what I'm going to do yet. But other than that, the garage is pretty much done. And we hope to have a compilation video of start to finish, hopefully here in about a month or so. We're really excited to get that video out. And we're so grateful for everyone to support our channel. Thanks for watching.